Kevin mentioned around 2012, because I knew that my line sister was the bomb.com editor and English major, as she mentioned, um, I had an idea. Um, it came from my dissertation. So I graduated from Georgia Southern in 2010, wrote a dissertation about how Black women mentor each other, okay? Um, you know, of course, we see in the media you know, sometimes that, or we are portrayed as if we are not on one accord. So um, from that, when I was defending my dissertation, my professors were like, well, what are you going to do? And I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I said, I would like to do something more creative. You know, dissertations are technical writing, um, but I would like to do something more creative with the premise that we do mentor each other. Um, and I knew that our centennial was coming up soon. So I called Nisi, of course, first and asked if she would go on this journey with me. And she agreed. And so then we gathered 20 other women to join us. And that was the birth of our anthology. Yeah, she. I still remember that fateful day. Fran called and she was like, uh, what you doing? <laughs> and I was like, Nothing, what's going on? And she was like, you want to do a book? <laughs> and so she pitched and told me what it was she was interested in doing. And I said, okay, yeah, we could do that, no problem. And so um, the authors started coming to us from different areas you know some we already knew Fran had already pulled together had her mind about some folks and then um it became kind of a bidding where folks were saying you know you should talk to this person as well this person would be good and they started to recommend one another and organically it kind of created itself mm -hmm. and so um for lack of a better term I'm kind of anal Fran knew that and we, we lie sisters, so you know how, how that goes. You know which lie sister is capable of what, right? And so I made this color-coded um, timeline, very aggressive. So um, it became really apparent to us, we need to have this out in time for Centennial. Right. And so we made this color-coded timeline that everybody had to adhere to. And if you couldn't adhere to the timeline, you know, you had to make a decision about whether or not you would be part of the project. Right. <laughs> I can't. I see you, friend. I love like, it. Who that sound like, Drew? You, it's you. You, 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 you miss. Go dog. Not gonna confirm. Go dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. And so we we were good cop, bad cop, right? So I was good cop in the sense that I worked with folks to make sure that I got what they needed, you know, uh, or got from them what we needed. Uh, we massaged it, we edited it, we made it flow, we decided what the format should look like. And then Fran was bad cop, where I would say, Fran, um, you know, Drew had turned in his stuff. <laughs> that, would, that would never happen because he is the, he, he is on, he's like you, he is so anal. And a matter of fact, and I'm like, Fran, now I could be the bossy one, but I'm a free spirit, you know. I'm like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, so we, and we made our timeline, you know, and so then we, we pitched it. And I think this is the part that um, authors and then especially new authors have to be mindful of as well. There is an order. There is a deference. There is an acknowledgement of authors who have come before you. Um, and for our project, um, you had to be a Delta in order to contribute because we wanted this to be a centennial project, but mm -hmm. we knew we didn't have the rights to make it a Delta Sigma Theta book, right? Right. right. Oh yeah, I know what you said. <laughs> so we, but with that still being um, kind of the framework that it would appear as if it were an anthology of sisterhood, crimson and cream, red and white, um, we gave um, a centennial gift to everyone that was in leadership at the national level, as well as everyone that was in leadership here at the local level. We did not want them to hear about these girls done done something <laughs> and not be in order. And so we thank them for their leadership. And we thought it would just be really um, a great thing to give as a gift um, during a centennial period. And so that was our introduction to here is this project that's going to hit the, the waves. So as you can see on the front cover, um, it is a compilation of 22 shades of red. So $22, uh, 22 authors, 22 chapters, and 22 shades. So each chapter is a shade of red. Um, so like I'm cardinal. I think Nisi is crimson. So, you know, the, and 
there's a lot in between. And it's not just poetry and short stories. Um, there's a sermon in there. It's not just about, of course, the organization um, or sorority uh, sisterhood or friendship. It's about all types of sisterhoods. Like uh, Nisi had written a poem for her younger biological sister. Uh, one of our line sisters wrote a poem to her brother because he was her sister. You know, I mean, the relationship they had was like, you know, I mean, they are so close that it's, mm -hmm. you know, having a sister, but, you know, he's a brother. But yeah, uh, those who struggle uh, in the fight for cancer, you know, one of our poets uh, did a dedication to her aunt. You know, so it just, it was so wow. many things about friendships and having relationships with women, mentoring each other, you know. Um, and then, of course, we were blessed to um, also, one of our, we were looking for someone to do the forward for our book. One of our authors um, knew uh, one of the daughters of the late uh, Ruby D, and she uh, blessed us with her forward and uh, one of her poems. Um, so that's mm -hmm. also in our book. So, um, and from that, we have started a scholarship uh, from the proceeds of the book. Um, and this is our second year awarding uh, a young um, female student uh, college scholarship. And that's an interesting story too, because um, when we got put in touch with the family, they originally said, you know, mom really isn't into doing that right now, right? Mm -hmm. And then I sat there and I said, wait now, they on the phone though. I'm not, I can't hang up. <laughs> I, I cannot hang up. I, and so I just said, well, what can we do? Work with our soul or how, how can we make this happen? It would be really important to us. And she said, well, let me talk with her and someone will call you back. And I, I just kind of put it away. I said, I'm not, gonna, you know how you, you worry about something and you toy with something and you try to figure yeah. out and you keep yeah. reaching that out to, you know, confirm. And I, I just decided I'm not going to worry about it because if this is meant to be, if this is ordained, it'll happen. And then sure enough, they called us back and said, mom says she really likes y'all and she likes this project. And so, uh, and she loves Delta Sigma Theta. And so she's decided that she will not only just write the forward, but she's going to add one of her poems to your collection. Look at God. <laughs> when it's meant to be, look, Honey. he will. Honey. I tell people all the time, I said that for, no for me just me, not right now. Exactly. You and then what I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay, just not today, right? Not today. So, she don't want to do it right today, but I'm going to call tomorrow. She going to be more <laughs> That is such a blessing. I, I, I love it. I love the concept. I'm going to just, I'm going to challenge you ladies to do one every so many years and bring new, new, uh, new experiences on. I'm going to be in the, I'm speaking and Jesus, I'm going to be in the next one and I don't know who else going to be up in there. Make sure to catch the full broadcast on All About the Authors 520 on Facebook and All About the Authors 520 on YouTube. Don't forget to support these and other great authors and make sure to check out the hosts, All About the Authors. We'll see you soon.